Hello, this is Pedro from Argentina, and this is part two of the Ed Bigger solo on this Cole Porter song. something really interesting because he plays a voice leading that he never really played before and this is going to an E flat minor and this leads so beautifully to that chord it's really nice you could see this as a lot of chords but mostly what I think it's important is the way it leads to the E flat minor and then just that note, so that's it. He starts with this that you could see as a um, G flat major to an A flat major to the D flat major, but this is more appropriately uh, E flat minor seventh going to the dominant so it's two five one business as usual he then plays this shape of the D flat major seven but with his first finger that is completely free and ready for business he plays and then back to the E flat minor This is a B flat measure, and he plays go into this C dominant. Something really interesting. So again, the whole phrase. of this phrase is over an F major 7 so this you could see as a D dominant and then he plays this which I really like so it's this could be seen as a G dominant with a sharp 11th sharp 11th leading to the 5th then this is a she dominant it goes to the a C dominant with a sharp knife <laughs> sorry for this many names and then to the third I think that Ed doesn't think so much of the name of the course I'm actually I'm sure that he doesn't but he thinks of the inner voice movement and how the texture is felt and the melodies that each string has and that is incredible so he's going from this G dominant to this C dominant and he just moves it. a turn around where he plays a C minor 7 of course with the 9th leading to an F dominant of course with the sharp 5 then this F dominant changes to an F minor and then this which you could see as a kind of a B flat dominant so like a kind of which leads to the E flat major so and he plays a really soft open E. A beautiful way to end the solo. I must say that every time that I refer to the harmony of the song, 
harmony is a much more open to interpretation subject than you could think when you're playing this kind of chords. So I'm kind of using the easiest way to talk about the harmony, but actually in the way that Ed plays, especially when he plays with a Cheyenne such as Ron Carter on the double bass, harmony is always changing and there are several ways to view it. So I think the, this chord voicings, the names that I'm using, are the ones that make the most sense regarding the guitar. But sometimes when you look at the song in a broader perspective, you might be tempted to use other names. As always, this is art, not science, likely for us. This was a short solo so it went by quickly. See you in the next solo and please don't hesitate to send me a message with anything you'd like to share. Thanks for watching.